Tell me why two or three people caught this with video evidence in the sky. It's a great business to be in central banking. Um, mm. Print money and people believe it. Dubai is currently experiencing some of the worst flooding it's had in years after the government's been experimenting with cloud seeding to create artificial rain, which as you can tell has gotten out of hand. Pope Francis met with Nancy Pelosi. I noticed a weird handshake. Yes, sir. My trigger. Back up in this thing, man. Today, we'll be breaking down some creepy videos that feel like a bad dream. Let's get it. Dubai is currently experiencing some of the worst flooding it's had in years after the government's been experimenting with cloud seeding to create artificial rain, which as you can tell has gotten out of hand. And while some people in Dubai have been enjoying the rain, for most people the flood and storm have gotten so intense that it's starting to break through the roof of most buildings, leaving massive amounts of people stranded in the roadway, and for those that are trying to get away, a lot of them are flooding their engines, leaving their cars stuck and broken in the middle of the road. Unless you've got a Tesla, then apparently that thing is a submarine and it's gotten so bad that in the last 12 hours dubai's gotten more rain than they typically get in an entire year government officials in dubai have told people to stay home and stay safe but as you can tell dubai's infrastructure was just not built for this amount of rain and sadly it seems like the worst is yet to come with a second storm coming and adding to the current one this is today at 3 p.m it should be bright outside, but as you can tell, the cloud cover is so thick that it seems like it's night. Now, how much of this is cloud seeding versus natural mother nature just taking its course? We don't know exactly, but I think it goes to show that you just do not want to mess with mother nature because if you do, things can get out of hand very fast. But that's my opinion. What do y'all think? I kind of knew this would be an issue once Dubai announced that they would be doing cloud seeding, but I had no idea that they would bring about Noah's flood. All those billionaires going to have to turn in those Maybachs and just get yachts. <laughs> Lunchables have really been a longtime staple in lunchboxes across the country, but Consumer Reports, an independent nonprofit group, issued a scathing assessment of the lunch kit, saying, quote, we don't think anybody should regularly eat these products. This came after testing that allegedly found some store-bought versions contain high levels of heavy metals, lead and cadmium. They can cause developmental issues in children, even in small doses. The study also found concerning amounts of sodium as well as phthalates, chemicals used in plastic packaging that are also known hormone disruptors. Last year, after changing some of the nutritional content, Lunchables were allowed into the National School Lunch Program for the first time, giving tens of millions of children access on a near daily basis. But now Consumer Reports is calling on the Department of Agriculture to remove Lunchables from schools. In a statement, Kraft Heinz, which owns Lunchables, defended the product, saying it meets strict safety standards. The company added that lead and cadmium occur naturally in the environment and could be present in low levels in food products. And the fact that these are being served in school lunches and Kraft Heinz doesn't see this as an issue is very telling that corporations care a lot more about money than anything else, because instead of just doing a recall and pulling these from the shelves, they rather the kids just keep eating these letables. So something very strange happened not too long ago in the Bay of San Francisco area. And if you didn't hear about it, that's because you weren't meant to. It was specifically kept secret. The geoengineering test quietly launches salt crystals into the atmosphere above San Francisco. So on a decommissioned aircraft carrier, they uh, connected a whole bunch of high-powered spraying machine devices and shot microscopic salt aerosol particles hundreds of feet into the air. But the experiment was intentionally kept under the radar to minimize public backlash. The test last week took place in Alameda, California, on the USS Hornet, which operates as a Smithsonian affiliate museum. It was the first cloud brightening experiment ever conducted in North America. I don't quite believe that, but okay, we'll go with that for now. And just the second in the world. Oh, sure. <laughs> Four years ago, researchers, Australia, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is very interesting because last I checked, many articles on mainstream news sources roast anyone who thinks that secret chemicals are being sprayed to modify the weather. Well, as long as the science is settled and we trust the science, then I guess everything should be all right. They conducted this experiment and didn't let the public know like it's a double blind study, probably because they're spraying a lot more than just salt crystals. So no, I don't trust the science. So at CERN, we have like this, this we have, but if we read this, may the force of the dark side of the universe be with you. May the force of the dark side of the universe be with you. Yeah. 
If the three sixes in the logo wasn't enough, now we know definitively what size CERN is working for. They couldn't have picked a more fitting tagline. Give us like some context. Okay, here's the context. Everything is a matter of like what you're accustomed to or what is currently like socially acceptable or normal. And back in like the 50s, how many times did you see like little boys would go out with like their little pop and they would cut their fingers and like be brothers, right? And they're like, we're best friends forever now. And they would like smush together on their fingers uh-huh that's not satanic right that's normal and that's cute that's sweet that's like an innocent like little bond yeah it's a little bond between kids who love each other they have a pure friendship it's like that <laughs> instead of rubbing your fingers together the drop of goes in your mouth and i don't know what why that becomes satanic that's a terrible analogy because what kids do is completely different than what she just described she's in her dracula era have the monopoly man's monocle in my hand i spent too much time and too much money tracking down a 1996 waddlington junior monopoly board because apparently the two dollar bill has the monopoly man with a monocle on, on the man it will open more doors than it closes because it proves that it does exist it's not part of our imagination but how it wiped from almost everything on the internet every single board game something is happening shout out to neil who's the world record holder for monopoly board games owned he owns almost 4,000, and he's gonna help me figure out if any other board games have the monocle truly really don't believe there is a man who can better help us at this time of need than him the last time i will absolutely lose my mind if an american says we're just confusing it with mr peanuts because america does not make up most of the world most of the world remembers the monocle and mr peanuts didn't even make it to the UK till 2016. I'll let you guys look first. We did it. We found the monocle. I'm 99% positive that the Monopoly man always wore a monocle, so I'm happy she was able to dig these up for proof, but don't let Siren see these. They'll fire up the Hedron Collider in a second to go back and change these. Okay, so I said this on the last pod I was on where I said Masonic Temple, and every comment was like, Luminati or like uh, some uh, And I'm like, did I call it the wrong building? <laughs> <laughs> I swear MTV and Much Music out of in Toronto, it was called the Masonic Temple. Let's find the this out. Because I'm not in the Illuminati. That's it. It says right on the building. Okay, come on. That's the Illuminati. It looks a little yeah, Illuminati. A little Illuminati. <laughs> Dude, I remember he took us to like a tour through it. And we went to this one room and it would look like a, I don't know, like a little like church room or something. Okay. Kind of okay, scary. Yeah. And then he takes us to the back of these <laughs> walls yeah. and there was like a walkway behind the whole perimeter of the room. That's and then there was holes in, so you could spy. Bro, that's weird. That's Is that Illuminati. great? Bro, that looks Illuminati. -ish. Yeah, that looks very Yeah, funny. dude. Holy <laughs> And this conference room looks like it's more suited to conduct rituals than review music videos. I would feel like I'm about to be sacrificed going to these board meetings. This is the island that Jeff Bezos just moved into in Miami. Check out this Amazon security. We have this motion tracking camera. I'm here on a jet ski and this thing is going to track me as I pass it. Not only is there an active on duty cop car, but there's also this active tracking camera and you definitely ain't got this. You definitely ain't got Amazon type security out here at your house. Most people just have a guard dog or a pew pew so it must be nice to have the police department working as your private security i just hope that's not coming out the tax money here's this weird scheme and I'll, I'll show it to you guys here so there was the great fire of new york in 1835 and then there's the great fire of chicago in 1871 and then there's a great fire of seattle in 1889 and then there's a the great fire of atlanta 1917 and then there's the great fire of baltimore the Great Fire of Michigan, the Great Fire of Boston, the Great Fire of Spokane, the Great Fire of Pittsburgh, the Great Fire of Los Angeles, the Great Fire of Jacksonville. There's literally great fires going on Whoa. infinitively. If the government had a bunch of manuscripts, artifacts, historical documents, things that they didn't want to proceed in the future, all they have to do is burn it. Oh, the library got burned. Oh, the museum got burned. Oh, this got burned. Oh, you know, it's all gone, guys, you know. And then within a hundred years, which it clearly has been longer than that, nobody will be able to prove nobody's going to be alive as a first eyewitness testimony of anything so you can say whatever you want but nobody's gonna believe it they're gonna say yeah that, that no there's no evidence of that i find it strange that in the 1800s they were apparently capable of building such extravagant architecture but when it came to fighting fires they were worse than the little rascals makes no sense <laughs> oh 
神秀。I don't know what type of cloud this is, but I've seen the movie Nope enough times to not stick around and find out. This could be an old military facility or a fake mountain for an amusement park or something, but it gives me Truman Show vibes. We actually fund ourselves and then work out what dividend is needed to pay. So um, we kind of work that it's a great business to be in central banking. Um, mm. you print money and people believe it. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and uh, this is a joke that only a banker would find funny. I'm sure if JP Morgan was still alive, he would be crying laughing. <laughs> What's element 115? Element 115 is a, a super heavy element. It's something that we only, only just recently synthesized. We only made four atoms of it. The craft uses larger quantities of it, 223 gram little triangles of it. But it's a unique element. When it's exposed to radiation, it produces its own gravitational field, its own anti-gravitational field. And it's what's used to lift and propel the craft and create distortions around it. It's, a, it's an amazing material. And it's certainly nothing that occurs here or naturally. And it can be weaponized, and that's kind of the issue here. If this story is all true, that can be weaponized. Absolutely. I mean, we ran all kinds of tests on it. Everything from atomic absorption and uh, uh, X-ray X -ray fluorescence and, you know, every kind of test you could possibly imagine um, and bombarded it with radiation to see what effects it would have. They called that neutron activation, but it was a stable element and something we had never seen before. If this is true, then good thing we were only able to synthesize four atoms of this if it can be weaponized, because the Pentagon and Lockheed Martin would have a field day. What am I looking at here? You got this tree that looks like it's wrapped in a spider web of some kind, and this woman, she unwrapping it like a Christmas present. Why would a spider leave a web around a tree like this? Or am I just missing the point of the video? It's four or five. It had to take at least three years of nonstop webbing to cover the entire tree like this. They need to find this spider and give him a job at the silk factory. Dude, this is absolutely insane. Everybody has to see this immediately. I need somebody to help me explain what the was off the west coast of Africa the other day. As you can see right here, very clearly, this thing pops up out of nowhere and it's over the course of a 36 hour period, okay? And it just keeps going towards the west coast of Africa. And after you watch this video, I want you to watch another video right after that shows the very same thing popping up in late February in the same exact location. But people, this is an 84 foot wave right here. 84 foot. Look at this when I zoom in, okay? That's 84 feet. Now there is something that's known as a rogue wave, okay? But the largest rogue wave I've ever seen recorded was 58 feet, okay? The largest one I've ever seen on actual tracking like this was 50 to 55 feet. And this thing is huge, people. This thing is two thirds of the United States. I mean, this thing just pops out of nowhere. And it's very coincidental because this specific location is renowned to be a hidden underwater UAP base. But I mean, look at the pressure of those waves, okay? That is ridiculous. Do you know how much pressure that has to be? And this one right here is the one from late February. Look at it in the same exact location. It makes absolutely no sense over a three day period as well. That is no glitch, people. I mean, this one was recorded to be 80 feet tall, and then it just dispersed out of nowhere. But as you can see, it very clearly carried on into the west coast of Africa, and then just dissipated out of nowhere. And ironically, each time, these waterways have been completely restricted from the public having access to them. 
So somebody please explain why that would even be possible in the first place. It makes absolutely no sense. I saw that the news reported that this was a glitch in the system, but the same glitch occurring on two separate occasions in the same location seems highly unlikely. But if we start seeing an increase in Kraken sightings, then we know where it came from. Lena Del Rey did tarot card reading at her set during Coachella. I don't know if anyone else caught this, but watch this. I spend that much money on a ticket to Coachella. I want to see my favorite artist perform, not sit down and do black magic like Miss Cleo. This is a $500 tarot card reading. Are you ready to have your mind blown? This is from July 2023. Watch this video. It's Deep Fake Friday, and we're talking to an innovative company that can replicate any human's face, voice, and personality through an algorithmic process in a matter of minutes. Don't believe me? Well, I'm not real. I'm a Brian Sullivan digital double created by a startup called Brask, using images and video of the real Brian to compile what's called a mask. I'm being replicated by a stand-in actor to read this monologue, and then my appearance and voice is changed using artificial intelligence. So now that I've got your attention, let's send it back to the real Brian Sullivan as we dive deeper into this revolutionary technology. I have not seen that before that they told me i could not look at it just kind of wear the same thing that was amazing a little terrifying i'm i'm shocked at how handsome i actually am but other than that it was a little bit i mean that's this is amazing once ai is able to accurately recreate fingers then it'll be pretty much impossible to tell what's real or what's ai deep fake so if you ever see me with twisted up fingers just know it's ai tricker pope francis met with nancy pelosi i noticed a weird handshake. Pelosi goes in, grabs his hand, deliberately looks down, and shifts her thumb. He looks at her, and then she moves it back. I found a priest talking to a lawyer who used to be a Freemason brother. Shake hands with a, a Mason. Sure. What you'll see is they put the thumb there on, that would be the third knuckle from the thumb. So you see this very frequently. Exactly this is the inner apprentice. Did. There are two for fellow graph, but Master Mason is right there. She goes in for a handshake right here, though. Does she do the same thing? We can't see her knuckle, though. Can't see her knuckle. And we can't see his because he covers it with his hand! Wait, oh. Oh. Second, second knuckle. That's second knuckle. Seven things you may not know about Freemasons. The Catholic Church forbids members from being Freemasons. The faithful who enroll in Masonic associations are the state of grave sin and may not receive Holy Communion. If that's true, why is the Pope doing a Freemasonic handshake? I can't really tell for sure if her thumb was covering up the third knuckle, but it's possible that they belong to the same club because I've never seen anybody dap up the Pope like that. If you ever felt like the school system was crushing your soul, you were right. It's exactly what it was designed to do. According to the futurist Alvin Toffler, the American education model was copied from the 18th century Prussian model designed to create docile subjects, soldiers, and factory workers. Mass education was constructed by industrialists to produce the kind of adults it needed. They did not need creatives or thinkers or genius minds of any kind. They needed soldiers and factory workers. They needed human minds molded into the conditions of cattle and livestock. Spending just one year, say kindergarten, in a non-Prussian system like Montessori-type schools creates geniuses. This is no coincidence. A child brought up to actually think will become a leader of tomorrow. Check out this list. Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, even Sean P. Diddy Combs all went to Montessori schools. I agree that our education system doesn't necessarily prepare you for real life, but Montessori might be just as bad if that's where P. Diddy got his start. Okay, that's it. 2024 is broken. It's broken. What is this? Tell me why two or three people caught this with video evidence in the sky. Allegedly, it's a flying humanoid. And it moves. I'm about to show you in a minute someone who got it with a telescope. What is that? Y'all can't tell me it's not real. Two or three eyewitnesses at least that recorded. Calibrating. Yeah. Refocusing. Okay. Like I don't know if it's a tail. I'm gonna zoom in a little. 
Oh, this one's amazing. Okay. Are you serious? Is it moving you? Yeah, like arm. Oh, oh yeah, right now it's good in the middle. You're right. And videos are just now starting to come out. So you know there's going to be many more. Things have not been normal since the 8th of April. I know it. You know it. Don't lie. And right here, you can clearly see it moving around. Look at that light pulsating from it. There, there's like a heavy light pulsating from this thing. It's changing colors. It's almost like in and out of this dimension over and over again. What is that? I don't know, it looks like a person almost. Ever since the uh, eight. Like if this sighting is legit, then it's most likely a Project Bluebeam hologram because David Grush didn't mention anything about a UFO shaped like the Michelin Man. You would need a whole oil tanker truck full of orc and spray to handle this. This just made my arachnophobia flare up. Who's gonna win the White House in 2024? <laughs> Who do you think will win the White House in 2032? Which type of AI? AI? <laughs> Transformers or diffusion? <laughs> I seriously hope there never comes a time where we're incapable of governing ourselves, so we have to elect an AI president. But I know the reporter who asked that question was uncomfortable after that sinister laugh. <laughs> Good one, Elon system of government and laws that we live under today in America and in the Western world is a Druidic system. The Druids were a very powerful priesthood in Europe, um, even before the Roman Empire existed. And they were the, they were the attorneys, the lawyers, the religious leaders, the politicians. It was called the Druidic system. And... Uh, one of the most important symbols in the druidic system was a magic wand, like Merlin the magician with his magic wand. And orchestra leaders and conductors used a magic wand, the druid symbol. And the druid symbol of the magic wand was made out of the wood of a holly tree. It's made out of Hollywood. And the entire establishment in Hollywood is a druidic system. So if you don't understand druidic symbols, you'll never know what's going on in Hollywood and where they're being financed, who's financing them, and how this stuff really works in relation to government. If this is true and our system is based on the druids, then they might as well just add Merlin to Mount Rushmore since he pretty much had the same amount of influence as George Washington. This man in Peru got caught smuggling an 800-year-old mummy. He also claimed this mummy was his girlfriend. It turns out the mummy is actually male too. He just casually put the mummy in his travel bags. When authorities questioned what he was doing with this mummy, he stated, this is Juanita, my girlfriend. The man's name is Julio Bermeo. This guy put it in a delivery bag that he used and he used to deliver food to people. Could you imagine getting a burger with the side of Juanita? Apparently it's been in his home for three decades. Where the hell did he get this mummy from? I'm assuming it's something his family found and I guess made it an heirloom because he's only 26 years old. He also said he sleeps right next to the mummy. Apparently his dad brought it home 30 years ago when he found it. In Julio's defense, he was bringing the mummy not to sell it, but because his friends wanted to see it. Peru has a ton of very interesting archaeological findings, so this doesn't surprise me that someone just found a mummy. It's kind of sad that he got it taken away though, Peruvian authorities have seized Juanita, or Juan as they call him now. This whole ordeal happened literally a year ago, around March of 2023. I didn't even hear about this until recently when I was scrolling on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below, and as always, these videos are for informational purposes only. I'm sure TSA agents see some bizarre things, but I know they were shocked when they saw Juanita pop up on the x-ray screen. Closer examination reveals a face and hands that seem decidedly inhuman. And here, a final nightmarish close-up of the figure's face. This has to be fake. It kind of looks like a mix between Spawn and Davy Jones. We have evidence that somebody had the capacity to explore the world during the last ice age. One of the things I find most striking is the presence of Antarctica on ancient maps because we didn't discover it until 1820. And yet it's on maps drawn in the 1500s with great detail, which again were based on much older source maps that have now been lost to us. They call it the Southern Land. And it's larger than it is today, but it was larger than it is today during the Ice Age. What the f*** 
is it doing on a map drawn in the 1500s, which we know was based on older source maps when nobody knew it existed in the 1500s? To me, the obvious answer is we are dealing with the fingerprints of a lost civilization that mapped the world and that left evidence of that mapping, which ancient map makers found and used and incorporated into their map. I bet the anthropologists wish these maps were also destroyed in those great fires so they wouldn't have to explain this one. Does the Vatican run the world? Figure this out. Most people don't digest this. They're the largest single stockholder in the world. They own the most property in the world that pays no taxes. Every school, every Catholic church. I mean, there's an organization a lot deeper than them called the Solidarity. I'm not familiar with that. Well, nobody the Solidarity. Is. It's about 2,000 year old club. It's a club. It's a club. And it's in the catacombs of the Vatican. You know, the Vatican's a city where it's in itself. I know. I used Just to live right next to it. Well, okay. Yeah. Then you know. I mean, I don't know. Well, like most, that. Pe most people don't know it, but I'm telling you. So they meet down there, you're saying? They're, they're such, such where they are. They only meet there, period. Right. Okay. They're very high level profile people throughout the world. You get invited to be in it. Who's running the world? I think they are. Wow. When you think of what they control and what they do, they, they, it's it's amazing. I mean, if this is true, then the solidarity makes Bohemian Grove look like the Boy Scouts. This dog needs to cut back on the kibble intake. I thought this was a werewolf for a second. But that was the video, guys. Don't forget to sub up, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.